Suppose your city is building a new park and issues bonds to raise the money to build it. You obtain a $1,000 bond that pays 5% interest annually that matures in five years. How much interest will you earn? Let's learn. Let's get the key parts here. It is a $1,000 bond that pays 5% interest annually and it matures in five years. How much interest will you earn? Okay. This is simple interest over time. The way the bonds work is you're going to get paid 5% of the initial bond amount every year, but it doesn't get back. You know, you don't lump it back into the original amount. It's not compounding. So let's get our key parts here. We want to find how much interest we will earn. We don't know that. Our initial amount is $1,000. Our rate here is 5% interest rate, but as a decimal, we move the decimal place over two spots, 0 0.05. And our time here is, well, yearly. We have five years, five years. So if we use our interest formula here, I equals P sub O, $1,000 times our rate as a decimal, 0 0.05, I'll put a parenthesis there, times our time, five years, all right? So we wanna multiply that out, and when we do, <laughs> I'll just double check, I believe it's 250, but 1,000 multiplied by 0 0.05 times five is a 250, oh, not five, 250 there. Sean, pay attention. $250 right here, and that is our interest, okay? That's our interest amount. If we wanted to calculate how much total we would have amounted over all the five years, years we use a second part of the formula, but that's not what the question's asking, so the question asks just for the interest. That's our answer, just to clarify. Our amount is our initial, right? So our end amount total that we've accumulated, it's worth, is our initial amount $1,000 times our, our plus our I, excuse me, another erasing here, plus our interest amount, which was $250, okay? And that gives a total end amount value of $1,250. If the question asks something like that, that would be your answer, just so you know it. But here, the interest was just $250. Now, it's important to see how it comes up with a different formula here for the amount. So we're saying amount, uh, end amount equals P sub zero plus I, our initial amount plus our interest. Our interest here was P sub O times RT. So we have that here. It's another way you can write it. And then if we pull out a P sub O, the initial amount, we have this formula, P sub O times one plus an R times a T. So sometimes you'll see the formula in that way, just so you can see it. I hope you learned something here on simple interest over time. And as always, thanks for watching.